the first question, of course, is how long was the preparation for this just to be able to... I, they're, they're so beautifully choreographed as fights, they're so expressive, mm -hmm. and yet there is a precision to not only how it's shot, but I assume how you guys have to learn the craft. Mm -hmm. um, how long a process was this uh, both for both of you? Uh, for choreography, like, uh, we already fixed for the choreography for everything, for every fight scene. Maybe just add some movement, add some scene, uh, uh, fight scene. But already one and a half hour. One and a half hour. Year, Sorry, one and a half years. Sorry. One, and a half one, and a half year. one and a half years. So essentially, you guys started as soon as the first film ended. You guys started working towards this one and preparing. Yes. Before, yes. Right? Before, before the red one, and and we already fixed the the choreography for Dread 2. Because oh, actually, wow. maybe I'm gonna explain a little bit. Because um, before mm. making actually the Raid uh, two, well. Previously, they wanted to make the Raid 2 first, but um, because of budget and um, other reasons, they couldn't make uh, Brandal, so they decided to make the Raid and uh, see how the respawn was going to be. And uh, since, yeah, well, you can see the respawn was pretty good on the Raid, that's why they made the Raid 2. And um, so um, that's why, like Iko said, the, the choreography was already there before mm -hmm. the Raid mm -hmm. 1 was yeah. even made for the Raid 2. And then for you, when you came in, um, first of all, how did they pitch Hammer Girl to you? Uh, describe her. And I love that there is so much backstory implied in just her relationship with That's baseball. baseball and also with the, the moment with the sunglasses. It really suggests a whole life that you guys have lived before this. Um, well, maybe I'm going to explain a little bit about the character first, yeah? Hammer Girl is, um, well, ba well, she is a cold-blooded, silent, and deaf assassin. And uh, she is one part... Um, she's one part of the team with Baseball Batman. And actually the backstory of um, sh uh, both of them, they're brother and sisters. And um, when they were young, they suffered um, abuse at the hand of their father. So that's why you could see she had marked, she lost an eye, and Baseball Batman has a scar as well on his hand. Mm -hmm. And um, um, after a while, they snapped and they killed their father. And um, Bajo and uh, his people found them in a small village and decided to recruit them and train them as assassins. That's why there's this twisted kind of, um, um, it's like, you know, for, for baseball Batman and Hammer Girl, like killing is, is like playing, you know, because they've known that since they were like really young. So that's why there's this moment where Hammer Girl, um, on the scene where she forgets her hammers and she just grabs them and like, yeah, let's go play. And <laughs> baseball Batman each time, he's like, yeah, can you pass me the ball? So mm -hmm. there's that yes. twisted kind of a, yeah, psychological in them. So <laughs> um, and, and how much is you in the film uh, and how much did you have to be able to comfortably perform? Well, having no background of martial art whatsoever, it was really hard for me to, you know, um, they are professionals. They have done that since they were really young. And but it's good, though. <laughs> but really. I have a bit, having no experience, I had to train for six months. Six months where al almost every day I um, did trainings from mm -hmm. basics um, and then went into choreography. And they were patient enough to teach me and um, <laughs> um, make me become Hammer Girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it, it seems to me that the... Um, the, the brilliance of what Gareth does when he shoots you guys is that we see everything. That as much as possible, we see full body, we see long, long extended shot. shots. And is that is that something that in the choreography you you know what each sequence is going to be and you treat it as for each shot sort of an individual yeah. movement or set of movements? Uh, I yeah, uh, I mean, like, girls is really perfectionist about the choreo, about the fight scene. Because uh, he want to, like, show about the choreo, but the fight, like, more detail. And then, untuk long shotnya juga dia harus bisa, mana yang bagian yang bisa dia ambil untuk fightnya, untuk tangkis block dan target-target, dia pasti akan kasih tahu yang lebih detailnya aja kalau buat yang yang apa white shot ini paling yang lebih ke dilihatin untuk ke buat artnya sih. Okay, so for the long shots he would he would more show of like the art and the big movements, but yeah, for the yeah, yeah. close up shots he it would more be of the, pu the punches and mm. details of the hits. And jadi sesuai koreografinya di, dibuat sesuai dengan shot yang dia bikin. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. dan ada beberapa yang long shot itu dia pasti untuk. Uh, Ada, jadi kalau kita fighting satu lawan lima nggak mungkin kan ada yang uh, dari backgroundnya itu 
gerak semua intinya gitu. Jadi aktif semuanya kelihatan semua. Enggak maksudnya ko- koreografinya dibuat sesuai dengan shot yang mau diambil. Iya, kan? sesuai. Udah 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 lock banget uh, koreografi sama uh, shot-nya itu udah 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 lock banget. Yeah. Well, yeah, the your question was that if he made the choreography like If you would think individually, just I know this shot goes this long, so we just work on this motion for for right now, or this set of motions. Mm-hmm. Well, um, like Iko said, Gareth Gareth really um, made. He always makes the shot list before before shooting yeah. and very detailed. So we would actually practice the choreography, and he would uh, be with his camera and looking like how like which which part he would take as a long shot, w- wider or um, yeah. close. And um, yeah, I think they made the chore- choreography based on the shots that he wants for that per- particular take and particular scene. Yeah, we make we make like a video board first, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, We shoot in on, on the set. Wow. Um, if I were trying to explain to somebody what the difference is between salat and other martial arts that I've seen on film, how do I describe that? Because I know that I get a real different sense of how it works. Perbedaan uh, silat ya paling ke. It's it, it's for basic is same, but uh, maybe for the character is different. The character silat is from Indonesia is uh, a lot of the provinci. Provinsi, mm-hmm. provinsi like 33 maybe already 33, 33, 33, 33 different uh, style. Style of silat. Oh, style wow. of silat in on on Indonesia, but every province is like different uh, character also, and then uh, we make the in choreography in Brando like combined already combined for every every province. Yeah, because you have a lot. You have tiger style. Like like tiger style, like you, you know, like what the 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 hammer girl, like mm-hmm. with the hammer, like the flat. It's an, it's an extension of the yeah. tiger style. So the hammers, that's where they. Oh, okay. Yeah, for for hammer girl choreography, it was based on tiger style silat. True. Oh, that's great, and it's I mean, it's terrifying. The first scene where they introduce you on the subway, is it's great when everybody clears out because they get the sense <laughs> bad things are about to go down, but then the the way the hammers are used, you're essentially like moving you use it almost to move people out of your way to position them to keep them where you want them and i, I think that's one of the things that I, i get from the salat fights is there's a lot of being aware of your space yes, yes, and yes. controlling sure, your sure, space sure. you're making sure that you have the room yeah, yeah, to do what you want yeah, yeah. we use the, the space also you know and uh, the the body the gesture mm-hmm. yeah he uh, she play it um i i'm also i'm blown away by how much character there is within the fights you each express very different approaches to how things go on and it's very visually distinct um so it is fighting through it's character through fighting as a performer is is that it seems like the ultimate physical expression of performance yes it is well i think for the character of hammer girl it is purely um physical because she has no dialogue since she's deaf obviously so it's really like it's really Um, yeah, it, it's really she really shows the character by 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 her physical movement, by by her fighting skills. And um, um, sorry, I didn't. Really, can you? Oh, so, so it seems like to me that's that's a great way for you to be able to own that character, to really be in charge of how they express themselves. Well, yeah, I guess it. Of, of course, of course. But you know, like speaking of like the character and the movements, choreography. I think it's more about them because they made the choreography. I'm really like. Just executing it, and uh, yeah, I think I think um, like the choreography is really strong to really show the character of uh, the camera girl itself, just by the choreography. So I have to ask Eco because w- when I look at this film, it looks like you killed every stuntman in the movie. Um, so you guys are phenomenal at selling the impact, at selling the hits. Is there connection? Is it a sense of you're connecting at half speed or at a softer, or is it simply you and Gareth have worked it out so that? We feel the connection, but you are cheating it. Uh, exactly, we, me, and uh, all the fighters just like trust each other. Like we hit like real punch, real kick. Maybe except the the, the face. Maybe we can like, control or or uh, uh, camera cheats. Camera, face, yes, yeah? exactly. But for yeah, the with, for the body is. It's no problem, like like full body uh, yes, exactly. I think that's why it's really important for us. Like we do, we do months and months of training, and we 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 meet the fighters every day. So you build that trust because True. it's really yes. important to exactly. have that trust. Yes. So you know, if for example you miss, you know, he wouldn't just come and punch you back. You know, it's right. it's, it's that trust that's really important. I was on a set where I saw that happen, where uh, the lead actor and a stuntman were in a scene together, and the stuntman went a little harder than I think the lead actor expected, and the tone changed immediately. It was like, whoa, whoa, hey. 
us. <laughs> so for me, it's fine. Yeah. Like, like maybe like uh, every uh, fighter is more be like like uh, not really hard. Like oh come on, like help help me and help us for reaction. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to learn basically to control where when you hit, you control where you stop, and well, your partner will just help with the, his reaction sure. to make it feel like yes. it's a real yes. hit. Yes. I, yes. I have to ask then, mm -hmm. um, just a general impression. Uh, what would you consider a like in in a fight sequence? What is the force that you would hit with? Would you mind? Yeah. Because I, I would be absolutely. Uh, uh, okay. Speed with control. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I explained like. Uh, it's, it's different with the power, okay. with the speed. If you do power like this, bam! Oh, okay. Right? And with the speed, I control it like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So you're very aware then of how far you're... Touch, but touch, but not really hurt, right? Like, like that. And snap. If you like, like this. Right. The, uh, inside the camera, is hard, but it's not really good. Like, uh, so you want more of the snap back. True, true. Like, look like... Uh, right. And Show help, uh, but, well, uh, help with the uh, fighter. Of, like, if like uh, in, in in the face, like, bam, like that. Um, I I find that one of the things that really sells the impact of these fights is the makeup, mm -hmm. and you guys are so good at gradually over the course of the fight. It's you see the effect on people. Um, I never get the feeling that um, these fights are anything less than apocalyptic. Like it feels like. At the end of it, you have ruined these guys, and they do a great job of selling all of it. Um, is there a lot of while you're on set? Are there moments as you have to stop, reset, get made up to show how the fights are progressing? Yes, uh, Baba. Yes, definitely. I think after every shot where we have, for example, for this shot we have this hit, we would we would stop for yes, what yes. 20, 30 mm -hmm. minutes for the makeup artist for to actually come and do yeah for continuity. It's it's amazing. It really, over the course of it, you get a sense of the the damage being done. We had an, uh, like a, an amazing makeup effect. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, because color. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if like like uh, a lot of punch on the face, but not bruised, no 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 everything like it's weird. Like in like for like maybe punch. Okay, which which part like you you, you, you got a show, yeah, yeah you got a punch. Okay, it's makeup first, and then you do again. I think it is phenomenal. I cannot wait for people to see it in, in March in the U.S. and around the world. And uh, I'm very, very excited to see what you and Gareth do in the future. Um, I just, right now, you guys are my favorite action team working. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitVix on Twitter or visit HitVix.com.